a nigga with some counterfeits, but now I'm counting this. Parmesan with my accountant. Okay, so first what you want to do is you want to go to getpaint.net. This will be in the description below. And then once you're on getpaint.net, go to get it now. And then go to download now over here. And then free download now. And then I already have it installed, so I don't need to install it again. And then in the description below, there will be a link to these uh, plugins for paint.net that I suggest that you download. You'll need this for the tutorial. So then there's also going to be a video on how to install paint.net plugins. So watch that. And then once you've installed paint.net and all the plugins, you can just open up paint.net. And then go to file, new, and then make the width a thousand, and then make the height a thousand. Like that. Click OK. Uh, and then after that, uh, in the description below, again, there's going to be a link to this wallpaper, which will be our background. So uh, let me just find it. This is in the description below, so then just uh, check the description for this picture. So then once you've opened up the picture, just press Ctrl C. Go back to the white layer right here. Add a new layer and then press Ctrl V like that. Select keep canvas size and then just move it around. And I'm just going to do this so that you can see this part of the wallpaper like that. And then deselect it uh, once you've uh, finished positioning it. And then after that, add a new layer. And then we're gonna we're just gonna do the text. So then um, just click anywhere on the screen like that. And then uh, make the te uh, text size really big, like 288. And then look for a font you want to use. The font I'm gonna be using is called Four Player. And then uh, this font will be in the description below for you to download again. So then you just press T. I'm just going to type out T because that's what letter, that's the letter I'm going to use. And then make sure the primary color is white. So they just, just swap the colors like that. Uh, I don't think it's big enough. So let's try 400 like that. And then uh, after that, you should be done. Go to effects, object line, and then center both so that it gets put perfectly in the middle. After that, go to your magic wand tool, hold shift, and then left click on the text like that. Go to your gradient tool, make sure white is your primary color and then make your secondary color a gray. So swap the colors and then click the gray right here and then swap again like that. And then left click, hold, and then just drag down. So then it makes this gradient like that. Deselect it. And then go to effects, uh, photo, and then glow. Uh, lower the brightness a bit. You're going to have to play around with this. Uh, I'll do something like this, I guess. I'm just trying to see if I can play around with it. It doesn't look like it. So then just lower the brightness a bit like that. Like negative 74. Click OK. Go to effects, object, and then drop shadow like that. And then lower the blur radius down to zero. Make the shadow color black and then uh, bring up the widening radius a bit to like 10, 12, click OK and then go to effects, object and then drop shadow again. Uh, make sure the blur radius is zero. Uh, the widening radius should be the same, but this time make the shadow color white like that and then click OK. It gives it this cool effect right here. I think it makes the text look cooler. So then after that, add a new layer, uh, go to f uh, file and then open. And then in the description below, there's going to be a link to this texture that uh, I'm going to be using along with like uh, five others that you can use. So then open up the texture you, you want to use. I'm going to use this one, press control C, go back to the profile picture, go to the new layer and then press control V, uh, select keep canvas size. Uh, it's smaller than the profile picture right now, so hold shift, left click, and then drag corner like that to make it bigger. Uh, I'm going to do something like that. Deselect it, and then go to uh, layers over here, and then go to the properties option like that. And then change the blending mode to like color dodge. Uh, click OK after that. Okay, so I think we're done. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go to file, save as and then save it anywhere on your computer. 
Uh, and then name it whatever. Profile picture. Yay. Save it. Uh, make sure the save as type is a PNG or a JPEG, doesn't matter. I'm gonna do PNG and then press save, click OK, flatten, and then you should be done. So, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like and then tell me if you want more tutorials in the video in the future. I mean, so uh, I don't have anything else to say. So, with that being said, I'll see you guys next time and peace out.